travelers from across the globe arriving here in Rochester to view Monday's total solar eclipse. 13 Wham's Daniel Finkelstein was there as thousands of people arrived at the Rochester airport earlier today. Daniel? Yeah, Karen, definitely a sense of excitement and anticipation at the airport today. Many people had flown several hours. One of them quite literally traveled halfway around the world. After a 27-hour trip, Sally McFarlane arrived to the Greater Rochester International Airport from Cape Town, South Africa. On her way, she even experienced the 4.8 magnitude earthquake in New York City. I'm pretty exhausted, but I just, I came in here, I saw the prepare for the eclipse on the 8th, there's a sign up there, and I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. I saw my brother, and I can't wait. She's one of thousands of people expected to travel here, all to catch a view. Eclipse chasers Lori and Robert Paz came all the way from California. Yeah, I think everyone should should experience an eclipse at least once in their life, a total eclipse. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's just an amazing astronomical event. The eclipse bringing families together like Kate McKay's. We have family flying in from um, other parts of the country too to come up and, and see it. And Phyllis Browns. Her son organized a family reunion inviting everyone. Um, it's turned out quite a few people are joining us here for the eclipse. And of course we don't know that we'll be able to see the sun because it's Rochester, but we'll be out on Lake Ontario east of Rochester and uh, it'll be fun no matter what. These three sisters are visiting their fourth for lunch under the eclipse in Pittsford. We don't all four of us get together very often, so this is special. Reuniting was the common theme, a total solar eclipse here in Rochester, giving everyone a reason to come together. A new report says around 30 million Americans will be in the path of the solar eclipse. Karen?